Welcome to Aurin channel and welcome back to Sheet Metal Course. In the previous video, we introduced the joke feature and we looked at how we can use this in theory. But in this video, we are gonna have a look at a more practical application. It might be a little bit easier to understand. Open up the base flange bar and just delete any extra joke features or anything. Just so we've got the single base flange again. You don't have to follow along with this demonstration. It's really up to you. To show us how we could use this, firstly I'm going to add some extra bends. So I'm going to get the edge flange, and I'm going to add flanges on both of these short edges. Gonna go 90 degrees up, and say 50 millimeters on both sides. Then I'm going to add two more edge flanges to the top of those edge flanges. So we want the flanges to come in towards the middle. We want them to almost touch. This number might change depending on our exact bend settings, but for me, 100mm gets them touching exactly in the middle. We don't quite want them to touch, because otherwise we won't be able to flatten the bar. So I'm gonna put it down to 99mm. So now we've just got a small cap in the middle there. So let's imagine we're trying to make some kind of open-ended box, but we want these two top faces to be joined together somehow, otherwise this whole thing might be a bit weak. And the top faces will probably flat around a little bit, just not be very strong. So in theory, we could just extend both these edges. So we've got a really small cap there, maybe like half a millimeter or something, and then weld them together. But actually, we've got a very small face there, where it's only one millimeter thick. So it'll be very hard to weld those accurately. So if we use the jog feature, we can actually make these edges overlap each other. And we can get a lot more space there, that we could either spot weld together, or maybe even add some screws or rivets, or something like that. To do this, let's add a jog. This time I'm gonna draw the sketch first. So I'm gonna start a sketch on this top face. Go to a top down view, and then I'm gonna get the line tool. And just draw a line all the way down from the top edge to the bottom edge. And I'm going to set it as 20 millimeters from the edge. Like this. So this is how it looks in 3D. Just got the line going all the way along in parallel with the edge. Then we just need to select the jog feature. We can do this from within the sketch, so go to the sheet metal tab, and just select the jog feature. Now we need to select the fixed face, so let's select that left hand area again, and we see we get that preview. Now if we go to the side view, we can see what's happening a bit more clearly. From the side, I'm gonna flip the jog direction, so the jog is actually inside the box. So I'm going to click this reverse direction box, and now the jog is inside. Then for the actual jog direction, we don't want the parts to exactly touch, we just want a small cap, maybe half a millimeter. So let's write in 0.5 millimeters there. And then I'm gonna set the angle to 90 degrees, because that's probably what will come up as default. And then for the actual dimension position, I'm gonna choose this inside option. So this cap inside should be half a millimeter now. But actually, if you look at our preview, you know that the sheet is one millimeter thick. So looking at this cap, there's no way it can be half a millimeter. It looks to be maybe two and a half or even three millimeters. So something's not right with our jog here. And the reason for this is because we have a bend radius of one millimeter set. So we've got a one millimeter bend here, and then we've got another one millimeter bend here. So the minimum distance for these two 90 degree, one millimeter bends is actually larger than the half millimeter that we set. So the only way we can reduce this gap further is to change the jog angle. If we go over here on the left and adjust the angle, we can see that gap is now decreasing because the angle of the bend is changing. If we keep reducing the angle down, we can see at some point, even though the angle is going down, the cap isn't getting any smaller, so the cap must now be half a millimeter. And that looks about right if we look at the sheet thickness there. So now let's edit again, and let's set the jog angle at 60 degrees, which should give us that half millimeter cap there. And if that all looks good, we can press OK to add that jog feature. So now we have this offset jog area, we can actually extend the other side of the sheet to cover this over, so we have an overlap. Let's start a sketch on this top face. We could also zoom in and select the small face and use convert entities, and then just do a simple extrude. But let's actually start from that large top face. And then we can use a tab. So I'm gonna go a normal 2 view, and then I'm gonna use a corner rectangle. I'm gonna start from the top corner edge, here on the right, and then going to go down, and just finish here, which is the bottom of the pen on the jog section. And if we look in 3D, we can see that a bit more clearly. It's not gonna actually touch the other half, 
but it's gonna be a pretty close. And now we can just add a tab. So this is a good example of when we might use the tab feature. So we can go to the sheet metal toolbar and just press this flange slash tab and then press OK. And now we've added the extra section. So now we can see we've still got the flush outer surface on the top of the box. Now we've got a fairly large overlapping area. And as we said, we could use this to spot well or put some screws through our rivets. So to recap again, the jog feature and two bends to make an offset section of sheet. And we might use this to reinforce an edge without adding too much thickness. Or maybe make an overlapping section like this here. To make the jog feature, first we need a single line in a sketch. Then we can use the jog feature and select a fixed face, the face that won't move. And then we can adjust the parameters, things like the jog offset, direction, position and the angle. Remember, if we have a very small offset with the choke, then we may need to play around with the angles to get the correct offset. In the next video, we are going to look at the sketch bends, which are kind of similar to chokes, but they just use a single bend, so they're actually a bit simpler. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like. I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.